Hi, my name is Don Bowman with Agilicus, where we believe that any application should be available to any user on any device from any network. And one of the challenges with doing that is people want to understand, audit, who has accessed any application from any device from any network. Was it the user I wanted? Traditionally, audit has been involving a lot of correlation. So traditionally, you would have had a user with their device, and then they may have been in a home or a work environment that had network address translation, and then it goes for the public internet, and it comes into your, maybe your firewall in front of your devices. It might go through a proxy server, and then go to one or more that are low balanced. And then you get logs out of this, and they go into a special thing called a, a SIM. And the idea is that by taking the, it's called the five tuple, so source IP, destination IP, source port, destination port, and the protocol, TCP or UDP, you have a unique record. The problem is, first of all, these network address translations that occur here, but also if you have that, that proxy server or load balancer, at least one of the IP addresses is useless, if not both of them. You might have more than one user sharing the same IP, for example, and you, now you have to look up time and have to decide who is using it. And the, the second problem is, uh, you know, the who of that user, you know, looking up their IP address and time and finding who is allocated to, be very, very challenging. So when we talk about how to improve the world, one of the things we look at is how to improve audit. How do we make it so that audit is something available on every flow with perfect accuracy, with simple retrieval, so that in the event that something does happen, you can say, what did I lose? Who did I lose it to? When did I lose it? You want to be able to access those questions very quickly. And also, on an ongoing basis, you want to audit, am I doing what I said I would do? I said I would make this application to these users. Has anyone else accessed it? So the way that we recommend achieving it is with zero trust networking, with cryptography, with a header called a JWT. And in that model, we have a user, and they're using the device of their choice. No special client, just the regular old browser. But the browser is, well, first of all, you know, it goes through, again, maybe that same network address translation, public internet cloud, comes to your firewall, and then maybe that same proxy, and then the servers on the back end. But what we're doing is the browser is participating in a login flow called Open ID Connect, and that causes it to get something called an access token. An access token is a it's called a JWT or JWT, and inside it, it cryptographically references who the user is, when it was assigned, when it's good to, and what you're allowed to do. And in the Agilicus Secure Cloud, which operates from your standpoint here on the internet, the JWT is everything. The user's in possession of it. We know who they are, where they're going, and what they're doing. So when we create these audit records out, yes, they have the five-tuple information, and we've done some magic in our system to undo the network address translation and remapping that occurs with proxy servers and NAT but you don't really care about that because the audit record now has a full permanent record using cryptographic proof of identity. So if you make the assertion, only users in the HR group will access this, we can show you that that is what you achieved. If you discover, oh no, we lost three devices that were logged in and these three people had them, I can tell you, the person that got it, what material they retrieved from your network, if any. And I do that with this special field in the JWT called sub, the subject. That is cryptographic proof of identity of the user. The rest of the JWT, I know who was using it when and to where, to what application. It prevents anything you didn't want to occur. So instead of losing a device that was VPN'd in, that has access to everything, you have no idea what it did. Well, in this case, the JWT controls where it got, the subfield controls who it was, the audit records are perfect and permanent 
with none of the blurriness of time correlations and five tuple lookups and who is using that port and is it shared, etc. So the old world, we don't need that anymore. That was the VPN world. The new world with zero trust, not only is it simpler, it's better and it's more secure. So if you like this, please remember to uh, like or subscribe. And as always, I love your comments. Email me, don at agilicus.com or comments down below. And I appreciate your input. Thanks very much and bye-bye.